Hello everybody, it has been a long time since I've done a video blog, so I wanted to get back into it, I've tried to spruce up my YouTube channel and yeah, I find talking so much easier than writing sometimes, so I want to give myself both the options to write or talk and yeah, just go with the flow of it. So today Ava is in daycare, so it's a perfect day for me to sit down and do some work and especially when I want to do a video blog to record without any hassles or her running in or anything. So today's blog I wanted to talk to you about um, another pregnancy when you have a toddler and how dealing with that can be so challenging. If you haven't seen, I am pregnant um, again with another beautiful baby and um, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, it has been rough, rough. I think is the best word to say. Um, I know there's a lot worse out there, so I really um, definitely not been in a pity party or anything like that. Uh, just copping it on the chin and just going with the flow, but making sure that I show myself compassion and kindness as well. It is tough when you feel nauseous all day, every day, and exhausted, and you have a two-year-old to chase after. <laughs> so to all you mamas out there that have um, more than two children and you're pregnant, oh my God, I just like bow down to you because it is hard work. So I'm almost 14 weeks now, second trimester, the nauseousness feeling is starting to ease, thank goodness, and um, the exhaustion's also starting to ease, so I'm just <laughs> so glad. But I'm a migraine sufferer, so I've been getting those, which sucks, and they can be debilitating at times, so um, I'm so grateful to have help from my husband and my mum. Um, to help me with my daughter because, yeah, I just don't know how bad the migraine is going to be, but I try to get onto them as quick as possible. So I just wanted to have a little chat about when you're pregnant and you've got like a toddler to also deal with. Um, I just really wanted to get a message across to you that if you are in that situation and you're struggling, like, I'm just so grateful that I'm not a vomiter, so I have not been vomiting, thank goodness. Um, so I've just been doing what I need to do to deal with the nausea. Carbohydrates have been my best friend, so bread and all that sort of stuff. But you've just got to do what you've got to do when you're trying to get through the first trimester of pregnancy. And also, I lost a baby in January, so I've been dealing with the anxiety um, in the first trimester of please let not, I just wanted that not to happen again. So um, yeah, it's been really interesting. It's been <clears throat> um, an interesting journey, but also beautiful. I loved being pregnant with um, Ava. So I'm enjoying being pregnant with this one as well so far. So all is good. Um, but I think the biggest thing if you are dealing with a toddler and feeling sick in your first trimester or even all the way through your pregnancy um, is to really show yourself compassion and kindness. And I've really tried to do that with myself because I know that I need to look after myself. I need to look after this baby and I need to do what I can to just chill out when I can. <laughs> um, like I said, I've felt nauseous from the moment I had breakfast all the way until I went to bed. Um, there was no real break. I was exhausted most of the time. Um, it was a bit worse than what I felt with Ava. I also had to um, reschedule clients and take nights off work because I work nights being a personal trainer. Um, I, but I, as much as I hate cancelling on my clients, I needed to do what was right by me and that meant rescheduling or cancelling. Um, so I just really want to share with you that if you are having a bit of trouble, you're struggling a little bit um, being pregnant and managing a toddler um, or multiple kids, um, to really just be kind to yourself, show yourself kindness, compassion and love and do what you need to do without feeling guilty about it. You are growing a human being. We need to be kind to ourselves. We need to support ourselves and we need to listen to our bodies and what it needs in that time. So to do this, all I did was I just listened to my body. If I was just exhausted, I'd have days where I was just flat out exhausted. I want to go to bed at seven o'clock at night. Um, I would do that if possible. I would cancel or reschedule my personal training clients or my group classes. And once my husband got home, I just went to bed. 
um, that's what I needed. So I listened. And I know not everybody is able to always listen to themselves, but do what you can to make these things happen. Um, with the migraines, I've been calling on my mum and they've been able to help me when I've really needed it. So asking for help um, is a big one. Um, if you can't be bothered cooking, don't cook. Just, I don't know, get frozen food or get takeaway or when you are feeling well, make up a huge batch of food and freeze it so you've got it there. So on those days that you just feel awful, you've got food that you can grab really easily. Just make life as easy as possible for yourself. Also with housework, do the minimum. <laughs> just do the minimum. And again, ask for help if you need it. You've really just got to tune into yourself, listen, show compassion and kindness, and don't force yourself to do things when you just don't want to do them. You just do not have the energy. I know it's hard with a toddler. It is so much harder. Um, but, you know, I wanted to make sure that I didn't show Ava that how yuck I was feeling. I still wanted to be there for her. So I still did her activities with her. I still took her swimming and all that sort of stuff. Um, sometimes we've just got to give a little, um, but make sure because you are giving that, that bit, especially if you're working full time, um, you, you're giving that to others, but you need to make sure you're filling up your own cup as well. So you're not just going to fall in a heap. You really need to look after yourself and your baby, your unborn baby. So that is my little bit of wisdom for you on pregnant with a toddler. It is very hard, but if you can just show yourself kindness and compassion and ask for help, do the minimum. And I just really hope you feel better in the second trimester. I really, really do. Wishing you so much love and joy in your pregnancy. And thank you for watching. And I will be back with another video blog very soon. Mwah.